Hi, my name is Susan and welcome and today we're going to do some healthy home cooking. Uh, we're going to start off with a very simple recipe that you can make yourself at home, something that you buy in, this, in the shop or your supermarket, which are sausage rolls. Okay, and you're saying sausage rolls, healthy, hmm, they're, well, when they're homemade, they're a bit healthier than they are, um, than they are bought. So today we're going to start off, we've got some puff pastry that uh, you buy from your supermarket, you'll find it in the refrigerator. Um, this is a ready roll puff pastry, and puff pastry means that it puffs up in the oven, so it makes it lovely and light and fresh. We've also got some sausages, so I'm just, I'll talk you through those in just a moment. And I've also got, for a little bit of something different, a little bit of black pudding or white pudding. Okay, so the reason these are really simple is because we're using just a couple of ingredients. We also have a milk and an egg, which we're going to use to glaze them up and make them look nice and golden and professional. So we're going to start with our puff pastry. So I want to use half of this puff pastry to begin with. So I'm just going to fold it over and I'm just going to put a little nick here in my knife, which denotes, will tell us that it's half of the pastry. So then with my knife, again, you don't have to be too exact. I'm just going to roll the knife across and then I have roughly two halves of that pastry, okay? So now well, let's talk about the sausages. I like to use jumbo sausages, right? And I simply like to use them because I am lazy. Jumbo sausages, obviously, are, they're thicker and they're easier to take the skins off. The reason we take the skins off is because the skin is just like a casing to hold the sausage. And we want the casing to be the pastry. We don't want it to be the skin. So what we're going to do is we just slit down the sausage and we use our knife just to simply peel it off like that. Okay? So again, very simple. It is, again, we're using the jumbo sausages because they're easier to peel. And I'm lazy. Okay? So here we go. I'm just slitting it down and off it goes like this. Real simple. Okay? So what we're going to do for the purpose of today is we're going to make one half of the pastry with sausage meat and the other half with black pudding. Okay, and these, just something nice, you can play around with this as much as you like. This came from my kids liking black pudding and liking sausage rolls, and then I said, you know what, let's just put the black pudding in with the sausages and see how it turns out. And everybody loves these. These are ideal for lunch boxes for children also. Um, they're nice and quick and easy, and I'll talk you through in a minute about how to store them so that they're really accessible. And once you make them once, you'll just make them again and again and again. Okay, so we've got four sausages, nice jumbo ones, so I'm going to kind of place them in just about a third of the way in of the pastry. You don't have to be exact. There is no rules here. Let's just have fun and play around with it. As I say in cooking, there are no rules. You just have to... to, to Enjoy and cook what you like and add in the ingredients you like. I mean, if you don't like black pudding, don't use black pudding. If you like white pudding, use that instead, okay? Now, all I'm doing is I'm joining up the sausages and a very technical term, I'm just squishing them together with my fingers, okay? So I just want the sausages to make friends with the pastry more than anything. So I'm just squishing it down like that. And this is why this is a great recipe for children, because they love this bit. And I find that if they've been involved in the cooking, they tend to eat more. Um, or even if they don't like maybe the black pudding, that they'll tend to try it because they've cooked it themselves. OK, so for this now, I'm just going to pop this over here for a second. And I'm going to just put my pastry one side meeting the other. Not technical, we don't want a whole pile of air in here, but we're just going to roll it over like that, okay? And then again, very technical, we're just going to squish it down with my fingers. You can see the indent of my fingers here, so I'm just going to squish it down. And again, I'm keeping quite close to the actual um, sausage meat here. And again, just, we want one side of the pastry to make friends with the other, and there we have it, okay? So that is a major mega sausage roll. For the purpose of this, I'd like to make some small ones. Um, I want these to be for lunch boxes or for, for children or whatever, or even if you're having friends over for a drink, these are really, really nice to have. And I'm going to make mine bite size, okay? Uh, all depending on your bite. Um, so what I'm going to do is to neaten them up, I am just going to cut this little piece off just to make them fancy. Sometimes I don't bother, it just depends. And all, we've made sure that they're nicely pressed. Okay, so they're all nicely pressed there. 
and there we have it again. Don't be afraid to handle it. Puff pastry is very user friendly. So now I'm going to just chop these into small little pieces like that. Again, you can make large ones, you can make small ones. Just, I would say, if you're cooking them, make them similar in size when you're cooking them together. Okay? So again, we're just slicing them through. Sometimes the knife might get a little bit sticky from the um, sausage meat, so just give it a wipe, and off you go again. Okay. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to get a baking sheet, which I have here, and I am going to line my baking sheet with a little bit of parchment paper. Now, the reason we do this is twofold. First of all, I don't want the sausage rolls to stick to the sheet. And second of all, I'm lazy, as I said, and if I use this, I don't have to wash it up, okay? So I'm just gonna pop the sausage, the baby sausage rolls onto the tray like this. I'm leaving a gap between them. Puff pastry puffs up, so I don't want them to join together and be one big um, mush of sausage rolls. So I want the puff pastry to puff up and them to be individually delicious on their own. Okay, so I'm popping them here now for a second, and then we're going to move on and make our nice, delicious black pudding ones. So, I'm going to pop this over here for a sec. And again, the same principle applies. We have our half sheet of pastry, and we have our roll of, of black pudding. Now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to give my knife a wipe. I'm going to cut this in half. Now, be careful with the knife. Black pudding can be quite firm. So, I'm going to cut it in half and remove one piece, and then I'm going to cut this piece in half again, okay? Again, go, go slowly with your knife work. You don't have to be fancy and chefy. just go slowly, do it correctly, okay? And enjoy it, this is fun. So again, the same principle applies, I'm just putting the sausage, or the, the black pudding, just here, about a third of the way in, and the same. Now we're not going to be able to squish this down together. That's not going to work this time because it's, it's quite firm. But again, I'm just going to measure off another little bit here. So there we have it. We've just joined it all up together. And again, we're going to do the same thing. This time I'll turn my board. And we are just going to roll this over. Again, black pudding is a little bit firmer to work with. So I'm kind of rolling it over. And there... Again, pressing one side of the pastry, meeting the other, just like that. And again, using my fingers to press it in. Again, the, the children love this bit. So there we have it. So there we have, again, another roll. So again, we can trim it off. I'll use this knife and I'll just trim it off, just to be fancy. Sometimes I don't bother. But again, I'll just trim it off gently. And I just want to be sure that it's all pressed together because we don't want them to open up. You can get a little bit fancy and start pressing them together with your fingers. Just your thumbs like that makes a nice little scalloped edge. Now, okay. So again, I'm going to make these bite size. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of a, a cut. And again, take your time with the knife. Black pudding is a lot firmer than sausage meat. So again, take your time. Now, you might be able to feel the joins of the pudding, um, but it doesn't matter. Again, there's no rules. There's no rules. Just take your time, have fun, and enjoy. Now, I have another tray which I have here. And again, true laziness prevails. Save the washing up. And again, I'm popping my black pudding rolls onto the tray. And again, spacing them out nicely. We don't want them to join up and make friends. We just want them to cook and be nice. Okay, now. So here I have my tray of sausage rolls, and I also have my black pudding rolls, and I also have my sausage rolls. So what I want to do next is I want to make these nice and glazed and golden. They're quite okay the way they are, um, to pop them in the oven. Um, but if we put a little bit of egg and some milk into them, uh, we'll make them lovely and golden. So here I just have one regular egg, and I'm just going to crack it into the bowl. Okay. Very good tip with an egg. If you do have a bit of eggshell in the egg when you crack it open, always chase an egg with an egg. So if you have a little bit of shell, chase it with another bit of shell. Top tip. Tiny bit of uh, just milk. What milk does is it loosens it out, and I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, maybe. 
and a little bit of pepper just to glaze or just to give a bit of seasoning to it. Okay, I'm going to grab a fork and I'm going to just give this a little bit of a mix. So again, it's just egg. You don't have to do this stage if you don't want to. And again, I have a, a pastry brush here and you can use this just to dab the pastry on. Personally at home, I, my pastry brush is generally at the back of the, you know, that drawer that you have that everything is mush in. So sometimes I don't have a pastry brush. So I just look, I just dip the top of it like that into it. So whatever suits you. And again, let the kids have a little bit of fun with it. Dip them in, let them use their hands. Again, as I said, they're probably more likely to try something that they don't necessarily like if they've been involved in the cooking. So again, I'm just dabbing this on. Now, these are perfect the way they are. And if you say, for example, that you have time today and you, you don't have time tomorrow, you can just tray these up like this and pop them in the fridge and leave them in the fridge uh, for a day or two and then use them when you need to. Um, sometimes what I do also is I bring them to this stage and then I freeze them in a little freezer bag and then I can take them out and cook them from frozen, okay? So that's just make life easy for yourself. Life is so busy these days, you know, all these little small things matter and it's great to have a bag of these in the freezer, take them out, pop them in and people will think you're the hostess with the mostest. Oh my God, how did you make those so quick? And then you don't need to share your secret. Okay. Now, so brushing all these. So these now will go into a nice hot oven, 180 degrees. They will take about 25, 30 minutes, depending on how you like them. Then I'm going to, we're going to show you then how to ensure that they are cooked correctly. Obviously, sausage meat needs to be cooked 100% um, and be piping hot inside. Now the last thing we do is we're going to check and see if they're properly cooked. So I'm just going to get a little knife and just cut one open. And the check we do is we just place our finger to the centre and if it's hot, it's done. We're going to pop a few onto this tray. It's nice to mix and match them around. And the smell is divine, it's so good. Um, these are lovely. Some people love them with ketchup, some people love them with a little twist of salt. But in any event, they're beautiful. And there we have homemade sausage and black pudding rolls in under half an hour.